Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mondo. We're here today taking a cappuccino with an old friend, Rinaldo Bellomo from Australia at the Vicenza International Course on Critical Care Nephrology. And uh, we have the pleasure to hear from the real voice of the author of an important trial about the results of this big study. So Rinaldo, can you tell us about this study, what it is and what are the main results? Of course, so the study is the relief study which was uh, e-published in the New England Journal of Medicine on the 9th of May and will soon be uh, available in hard copy. And it's a large multicenter randomized controlled trial involving 3,000 patients across multiple countries in different continents. And it looked at whether fluid management in the perioperative period in patients having major abdominal surgery makes a difference to important clinical outcomes. It found that if you're having major abdominal surgery and you are randomized to receive a liberal fluid regimen as opposed to a restrictive fluid regimen, you have a significant decrease in the incidence of acute kidney injury and a significant decrease in the need for renal replacement therapy and a significant decrease in the infection in the abdominal space. And these are very important findings because literally more than a few million people have abdominal surgery in the world every year. But how do you, uh, let's say, measure fluid optimization? Well, it's very difficult to measure that. So all that we can measure at the moment is fluid input and fluid output and fluid balance. And so in the liberal group, the fluid balance was positive by about three liters. Uh, in the other group, was positive by about one liter or so. So there is a difference of two to three liters, and that seems to be enough to make a difference to the incidence of acute kidney injury in these patients. But this goes a little bit uh, against what we always said, that uh, fluid overload kills people, right? Well, that's true, and in fact, as we say in the article, this is not fluid overload. This is appropriate, adjusted, careful fluid replacement in order to avoid the fluid depletion that you would otherwise see if you apply a restrictive regimen. And we say, please do not take this to me, that you can give people 10 liters of fluid in 24 hours. Again, this is a further proof of the U-shape relationship and curve that uh, uh, relates uh, fluid status and outcomes. If you are too liberal, you may end up uh, with congestion and fluid overload and pulmonary edema. If you are too restrictive, you may actually end up with complication and organ hypoperfusion. So I think this, uh, on more than 3,000 patients, uh, is a very important proof of that. I think so. It's a huge demonstration of the importance of doing things right. Fantastic. This has been a pleasure to share with the author of the paper and trial these uh, results. And with this, thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino in Vicenza. Cheers. Mmm. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent.